Okay, so welcome back. This video is mainly going to show how to update some things in DragonOS, but I am going to use uh, DSD FME and the Ice9 Bluetooth Sniffer. Both have been asked about before. I've talked about them briefly. They are in DragonOS. So, like I said, let's keep this 10 minutes or less. Uh, if you want to like learn more about each, I've done uh, you know videos in the past. But so, say you have your DragonOS Focal X installed. You come to this uh, repository here and you add the PPA by following the directions down below. At which point you should be able to do a sudo app update. I probably have a little more repositories here than what you'll see on your end because I was messing around with some different things. But let's do sudo app upgrade DSD FME and the ICE 9 Bluetooth sniffer. Bluetooth sniffer. I already have both updated. Uh, if for any reason you didn't see that uh, they were available, you, you can always uh, install like them directly with sudo app install. You'll see the dev packages names on the repo here. I'm not going to update everything else for this video, but now we should have things updated. And what does that mean? So the newer Ice9 Bluetooth Sniffer has a feature that takes advantage of that 120 some mega sample or over sample overdrive feature of the Blader F where it can instantaneously uh, look at uh, something, I, I believe it's around 122 megahertz wide bandwidth. So according to the Ice9 uh, page, you should be able to sniff all of the you know Bluetooth channels at once. Uh, I'm not going to go super in depth on using it because I don't want to be blurring out MAC addresses and all that but just know it does work and I'll show how to get that at least running. So DSD FME uh, I just I'll show someone had asked about using it with GQRX so to get that set up let's just go into user source DSD FME which is in your Dragon OS install and we're going to um, run this virtual sync script you don't have to you could use the pulse audio mixer to do what's needed but let's just let's just run the virtual sync and what does that mean it's like a virtual audio cable so uh, let me reset the settings on GQRX if you ever have issues you do a dash R it'll kind of reset the things there and I'll, you know just wanted to reset that I'll clear this screen and let's open uh, well, that was weird that it went up top there but okay so uh, we want to make sure I don't want to use the soapy uh, device I want to come down and just find where it's uh, blader F equal to zero I'm going to leave the input rate bandwidth uh, you know zero it should for most SDRs automatically uh, you know expand out to the sample rate and it should be the same because we ran that virtual audio thing before I should be able to select one of them I'm just gonna go with virtual sync one and so I'm not gonna hear the audio uh, per se of uh, GQRX come out the speakers that's gonna go over virtually to DSD FME and I'll, and I'll show that here in a second but let's hit OK alright and while that's loading because I don't really have DMR around me I'm gonna go ahead and use the hacker F uh, which is set up here in a flow graph in the back to transmit uh, some DMR uh, that I that I have uh, you know saved really actually I think it came from the SDR play uh, site they have some IQ files there and I, I talked about this in a previous video so I'm just gonna start the hacker F in the background here so that we have some DMR uh, to look at and to code so we'll have two windows open here over on this side I'll just change to my home directory and I'm going to keep the DSD FME uh, simple with a dash N for the N curses menu. It actually you can see that there's many different options here uh, for different demodulation types and different decoding. And and uh, if you scroll all the way up at the top, you'll see where um, you know just has a very very simple uh, command line there that you you know you could get started with. And you can even dump out uh, the information to a log file. So I'm in my home directory, so I have write permissions. If I start up that DSD FME, we can see now we're updated to version 2.1. And if I come over here and start my GQRX, 
and I'll have to mess with the gain here in a second, but 433-ish, and we'll do change the mode to narrow FM. That's under receiver options and input control. You can try and take that gain down so it's not, you, know, you just have to mess with these settings to where it's not so high. And this is the what I'm particularly interested in here. So pay attention, you'll see uh, where I have it on that narrow band FM and then once I start to um, tune in on it, DSD FME will take over the dec uh, decoding. One other thing to make sure though, do make sure your mixer under, uh, so we can see audio output for GQRX is going to the virtual sync. The DSD FME slots are um, you know, going to our speaker, so we'll hear the uh, demodulated uh, stuff. Now recording, pay attention here, DSD FME, uh, we want to make sure that we're monitoring the virtual sync uh, that we have GQRX outputting on. Okay, so we'll... I'm assuming I'm assuming you can hear that, but that is a really uh, let's see. Okay, that was a really quick uh, GQRX to DSD FME with a virtual audio sync. Okay, and keep with the time here uh, because we have the latest Ice Nine Bluetooth sniffer. Let's jump over to that page. And again, I'm going to be using the Blade RF because if we scroll down, we're going to see where it's got that um, currently requires the uh, Blade RF. All you should need to do, paste this command in. You can add a dash S and a dash V for, um, for the stats and being verbose. I already know. I've ran this before. I'm going to get my channelizer, uh, maybe my CPU or whatever is not, uh, maybe not up to where it needs to be to be processing all of uh, Bluetooth at one time. But that command uh, should get you going with using uh, that wideband feature of the uh, Blader F. And so I know you're not seeing much here, but uh, do believe me that um, and you may have to dial back the, the, the channels. You know, it gives you an example where you can do the center frequency and a dash C. You can lower the amount of channels if you need to. Um, and that information, uh, or the Bluetooth information, will make it into the PCAP file. The other option, and I'll just show it briefly here, if we do a sudo Wireshark, you should, uh, you should see... And, and I'll double check. If anyone has any issues, let me know in the comments. But uh, you should see that the Ice 9 Bluetooth interface, well, both the Hacker F and the Blader F are there. You double click that, and then you will get uh, that Bluetooth sniffing uh, right into Wireshark itself. So if anyone has any problems, let me know um, in, the, uh, in the description there. I'll just double check uh, everything is okay with the update package uh, for Dragon OS Focal X. And yeah, so that's uh, just real quick. Uh, hopefully that uh, helps. And yeah, have a good one.